Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. We've got a blizzard going on in the Pacific Northwest right now through Oregon and Washington, the higher terrain, the volcanoes. The Cascades, that's all storm number two. That's going to start to depart, move into the interior today, and snow will be developing through the Tetons, Idaho, and also the Wasatch as a result of that storm number two. And that continues through 111 across the interior states, and that would eventually move into Colorado as well. Storm number three, 112 through 115, still looks potent. It's going to ride an Arctic front to the south, very cold air. That'll help to really fluff up the snow ratios and really crank out some big totals with storm number three. And because of that, the Wasatch numbers continue to trend higher. I'll show you what I'm thinking with those. And now there's another storm on the horizon. Storm number four, 116 through 118, comes into the Pacific Northwest and then moves into the interior state. So that'll keep the, to the totals propped up through 117, 118. The Northeast, you've got a powerful, like a bomb cyclone developing for 19, 110. Moving through the Midwest now will eventually hit the, uh, the Northeast later into 110, but uh, that'll come in with some, some heavy snow and 70 mile an hour winds and then change over to rain, rain snow mix. 112, 113, a very similar setup. And then another uh, storm with potentially heavy snow, 116, 117. So guys, this is a, um, this is a really active period. Let me show you what this looks like on water vapor satellite imagery. So here's our big uh, bomb cyclone developing for the Midwest and that'll eventually move up into the northeast. Uh, this is storm number two moving into the Pacific Northwest, event diving down today into the interior states with snow developing, and there are two other areas of low pressure sitting out here, um, riding different branches of the jet stream, but what'll happen is, Storm number three will come in behind, and this is, I should mark it, there's storm number two. So storm number three will then rotate in behind that, and then eventually storm number four down the road. Let me show you how this plays out. Here's uh, the forecast radar and satellite by this afternoon. You can see the snow moving into the Wasatch, the Tetons, big sky, and then eventually the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Here it is tomorrow morning at six, backside swings down through the Sierra, and that continues that snow all the way into 111, and then eventually that load departs out of Colorado. Here comes storm number three with the Arctic front 112 sinking to the south with heavy snow potential and that low will just ride that front all the way down through California and then into the interior. So that's 114 in the morning. The low is consolidated now moving through Utah, Colorado by the afternoon hours. It slides out of Colorado. What you don't see here beyond this 114 is that that four storm system. You can kind of see a little bit of it up in parts of BC, but that's going to be dropping down. Let me show you what that could potentially look like. This is 117 with that storm system. Widespread snow, cold air. You can see how now the snow is diving down through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and into Colorado. And again, that's 117 would continue in the interior into 118. Here's the jet setup. So 110, this is storm number two as it drops down out of the Pacific Northwest into the interior states with uh, heavy snow. Uh, one more notch, here's 113, kind of a split flow with that Arctic front and the subtropical jet meeting up, and you've got heavy snow potential and much colder air. That flow is very direct and powerful into the Wasatch and into the western and northwest aspects of uh, Colorado. Here's 117 with that other storm system, number four. You can see the dip, the trough developing, and that a bit of a jet streak coming down through the Pacific Northwest. Eventually, that would drop straight down into the interior states on 118. So we've got storm systems lined up. Here's the new grand total map that'll run us through 118. So keep in mind, this actually is the combination now of three different storm systems, um, but to potentially uh, 70 inches plus through 118, Alta Snowbird. 50 plus, Big Cottonwood, less is uh, in Park City, Snow Basin, and Deer Valley. I'll break this down by period here in a second, but just remarkable. Anywhere you see the purple magenta, that's a foot plus, over a foot. That's a lot of places. Western and northwest Colorado looking at two feet, uh, approaching three feet in a couple of places. Big numbers through Idaho. Boy, what a rich flow. Two, three, four feet potentially up there. Northwest Montana gets nailed. Interior BC. Now those numbers, I've increased those numbers now as a result, adding in this, this fourth storm system. Look at the numbers. Uh, Oregon, Washington, looking at uh, 60, 70, 80, 90 inches of uh, snowfall up there, and big numbers through the Sierra. Um, three to four, you know, three inches, 30 to 40 inches up there. Again, there's that other storm system that comes in and lays down additional big accumulations. So this is quite a, quite a storm cycle. All right, here it is. Let me break it down by period. So uh, today through 111, 
Uh, we've got uh, potentially, uh, again, anywhere in purple to magenta is a foot or more, and there's a lot of places that include that. Um, that snow through the interior, probably a foot or more through the Tetons and into the Wasatch. All right, next period, 112 through 115. This is the third storm, potentially big time snow through uh, uh, parts of the Wasatch there, 40 plus up at Alta and Snowbird just in that period alone. Western Colorado, a foot plus into northwest Colorado. Here's the, uh, the, the four storm system now, 116 through 118. Big time numbers coming down through the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Northwest Montana, Interior BC. And then if we were to play this out through um, probably 119, you'd see the numbers increase through the Wasatch and in Colorado as that storm uh, basically tracks down through those states. But now it's exciting. We've got a whole nother storm system uh, in the forecast, 116 through 118. One more stop in the, uh, the northeast. Uh, so each one of these storms develops and, and grows in the northeast and becomes just a powerhouse storm system. 19, 110, uh, 112, 113, 116, 117. And with all of those, it's probably the third storm, um, that, that final one, 116 and 117, that's pure snowfall. Looks like it'll be the coldest with the best track. And that's where, you know, you see a lot of this accumulation, um, but impressive numbers, impressive numbers in the northeast. All right, we'll end on the, uh, the grand totals map again for today. Um, rest of today through 118. Again, this now accounts for three storm systems, but the potential's there for incredibly big numbers. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. I always appreciate it and take care.